good, uh, I guess I could say good morning. It's uh, after midnight. Like I planned on getting my video out already. But uh, today was a very stressful, tiresome day. Uh, uh, well, you know, you went with me to the eye doctor early this morning. And uh, then I had to go back, and I went to the fruit stand. And well, uh, Scott didn't get back to pretty late. He had different doctors to see at the VA the time they got finished with him. And uh, he come back and done some watering, and uh, I, I took care of the customers. But uh, it just literally, a uh, long day for me to be up that early. And by the time I got home, I was, uh, I had nothing left in me. I made it in the door and I was out. And uh, I woke up a little bit ago, threw this shirt back on and uh, just to make this video. And, uh, but uh, Daniel is in the hospital. They did uh, put a port in. And, uh, well, you're going to see where I was asking for prayer for him and everything in the video. Just getting ready to play here in just a second. But, uh, I don't know. I'm finding out. I'm, you know, you see my videos and uh, you see me doing a lot of work and stuff, but that I've done, but I don't do that all at once. I don't go all day. I can't. It's, it's, it's like the day is just too hard on me. Uh, so pray for me because I think the weeks to come is going to be pretty stressful. Uh, we've got this, don't we, Lord? But, uh, We all start eliminating things in our lives as we get older because it becomes too much for us. And uh, <coughs> It's uh, overwhelming sometimes when you get to where you want to do what you used to do, but you can't do it no more. That's, uh, uh, that's hard on the psyche, you know? You're like, I used to do this. I want to get this done. And I just can't, don't have it in you. But, uh, it's okay. Oh, like I say in the video, you can't really watch this. What's important is how you, how you confront it. You can confront it on your own or you can ask the Lord to, just keep his arms tight around you and see you through it. And uh, tomorrow's another day, or today's another day. I'm, I'm going back to bed. But uh, I want to let y'all know they did admit Daniel in the hospital. They put a, uh, the last I heard before I come home past that was they were going to put this port in. They're probably going to do this. It's in the air right now, but they're probably going to do, uh, or it was the last I heard, uh, the Red Devil chemo, which you know is some terrible stuff. Daniel's already weak. Uh, and I, I don't know. It's going to be hard. So keep him in your prayers, please. His mom, his dad, his brother. Uh, it's been a long battle. Well, and like I said, I I go do. They're gonna remove the tumors in my eyes on the seventeenth. So I got two weeks. And. Uh, 
they're going to do the nuclear stress test whenever they make the appointment. My CT scan is for the 20th. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, my, I didn't want to do the nuclear stress test. I wanted to try to do it the other way. <clears throat> but my doctor said, uh, not normal regular regularities. I can't even say the word right now. Now, see, that's forgive me. Uh, not being normal, that they'll if I do the exercise thing and manage to make through it, they're going to want to do that anyway to see the blood flow and all that kind of stuff. Monitor, you know, see how it's going. But uh. Uh, I have now for weeks had a lot of chest pain. I've kept it to myself. Uh, never really said nothing to anybody for the most part. Uh, everybody's got enough on their plate already. I had a lot of pains in my left side and left arm and left leg. Beyond normal. So, <laughs> uh, she, she determined to get me to complete all this. So, well, uh, well, the focus right now is on Daniel. It really is. It's, uh, he's at a crucial point. So keep him in your prayers. Uh, I know I've got a circle of prayer warriors that I know are uh, praying at the same time I am. And, uh, but you know, you're, you feel, you feel uh, helpless. You feel like you want to do something for him, but you can't. I can't heal Daniel, only God can. And if that's his will, uh, if it's more than Daniel can bear, he'll take him home and Give him a job in heaven. But, uh, being ready for that, I just don't. Uh, it's hard to do. But y'all, uh, y'all have a blessed evening. And uh, I'm gonna go back to bed and uh, get up here in a few hours and try it again. <clears throat> my voice is strained I'm, I'm, I feel strained I feel tight uh, and, and it's nothing more than stress uh, I'm pushing beyond what I normally do uh, but God bless if you can't think of nothing else to smile about think about the fact that Jesus loves you and no matter what's going on in your life, he's right there with you. He'll see you through it. See, so I'll have a blessed night. A morning. A day. <laughs> All right. Talk to you shortly. Good night. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's early morning. For me, anyway. Anything before noon is early for me uh, and I had to get up at 6.30 this morning uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful wonderful day uh, I'm going to do what I dread doing on my way to the high doctor and oh uh, uh, yeah so, I'm supposed to be there in 25 minutes. I'm probably about 10 minutes away at the most. So, it's not going to be a problem. I'm going to be on time. I just hope he's on time. Dr. Kim. Yes, sir. Dr. Kim. That's his name. 
Alright. I'll find out more about this in a little while. Anyway, everybody have a blessed day. Uh, I'm probably not about five minutes away right now. Uh, everybody keep on smiling. Remember, Jesus loves you. And all things work for his glory. Keep smiling. toys to play with. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. But I gotta go back. <laughs> I see. They're gonna do the surgery the 17th of this month. Uh, Nothing big and major. They said the tumors are not cancerous. Just had to be removed. Uh, but that, uh, yeah, I could write my regular eye exam after that. It's not until December, he said, to set that up for. So that one's set up for December already. So I got to be here the 17th and then at the CT scan on the 20th. So I got a busy doctor schedule coming up. Right now my eyes are blurry. <laughs> but I can see. I ask them, do they make everybody cry that comes in there? <laughs> anyway, keep smiling. I'm going to head back that way and see what I need to do next.
my blog today is not going to be that exciting either. I have been busy at the fruit stand. Uh, I came up here and uh, let Scott go to the house and pick peas. And then I called him at 12.30 to let him know he needed to get out of the garden because uh, he had a doctor's appointment to travel to, which is further away than mine was. And uh, Peter and Daniel, Peter's not back, Daniel's not back. They're doing a scan and checking to decide what they're going to do. He's uh, at the hospital now. Uh, just keep him in your prayers. Uh, I say that, but maybe say a special prayer for the young man. But uh, they got him over there trying to decide what they're going to do now. What what they can do for him. I don't know. They might try chemo and they might do surgery. But they do that scan. They'll determine what, uh, you know, the three tumors. They know what one of them's doing because he feels it and sees it. The other two, he can't see. Uh, one is on the spine in the brain where the spine comes up and the other one is on the carotid artery. Now, well, they pretty much have decided, you know, to pretty much said that that was going to be really, really, really the last thing because that one on the artery is really risky. But uh, this one here that's growing down this way and coming out through the top of his mouth where they did surgery back years ago and removed the whole roof of his mouth on one side has grown out his face had caved in from the surgeries of course but now it's not caved in no more it's all full because of the tumor has grown there uh, terrible intense pain he's in and uh, but hopefully they'll find the right treatment the Lord's will be done and we'll get uh, you get to come home. Uh, I just keep them in your prayer. That uh, I'll update you when I know something, like, you know, a lot more what they're going to do. But uh, that's about it for now. I'm at the fruit stand until Scott gets back from his doctor's appointment. He'll be able to take him a little break, riding back and stuff, and then uh. I'll probably go to the house and go to the barn. And uh, we'll call it a day because I'm already tired. Uh, yeah, I'm yawning. Y'all keep smiling. Because in spite of what this old world throws at us, it can't take one thing away from us. And that's the love Jesus has for us. We'll talk to you later. God bless.